She's scared of you, Michael. Stop it. She's terrified of you. You are far too intense with her. Do you understand? Are we live, man? Live on all socials. Whoa, man. Oh, we forgot to go live on fucking Instagram and shit. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that, weren't we? I really? Can, uh, yeah, I was just going to do it for like 30 seconds. Just as a little bit of promo or something like that. Well, you can give me your phone if you want and I'll do it now. Oh, right. Oh, you can fucking... Yeah, go on. Be fucking live on the fucking... Here we go. Yeah. No worries, hey? All right, what's been going on this week? Well, let me fucking tell you, all right? Ah, uh, yeah, we're, Brisbane's back in lockdown, so um, you can see we're social distancing. Michael's got his fingers in his ass. He's been scratching. <laughs> scratching away all day and then he complains that it hurts <laughs> then he stops scratching and then he uh, continues to smell his fingers uh, and talk about the uh, fecal matter under his, under his fingernails so that's what we've been doing we've also fucking organised um, we're, we're like very close to booking in our fucking uh, tennis episode and our fucking cricket episode right we got yeah, a professional we try cricket and get two in one week we've got a professional fucking cricket player bloody live on Instagram we're so right close now. to finishing it yeah, we've, we've got, got th- seven out of ten done. We've got three episodes left, and if you've missed it, because you'll be listening to this next week, go and watch the fucking hockey episode because it's out right now. Jeez, my leg's still fucked from it. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, Michael's leg. I've, I haven't seen a bruise like, like gangrene that for a while. <laughs> Have I? For a while. while. It was like a deep mustard color across the whole side of your leg. Wasn't that right for me? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Got some arm hairs there, everyone. So there you go. A bit of good luck. <laughs> oh, wait. Fully did. Yeah. No, nah, it's good. All right, Instagram. Um, you'll have to uh, watch the episode next week to uh, see the rest of it. But uh, you're in for a real treat. <laughs> no, nah, it's great. Fucking hell, man. Oh, I thought you hadn't gone off yet. I oh, so it was hard, though. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, why? Um, it got 800 people. Whoa! Oh my God. God, we have so many followers and stuff. It's crazy, eh? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just get rid of this. I say we do that the next time for maybe a bit longer. Yeah, it's just the start where I was talking about the boring shit. Maybe we should go live at a different time. Yeah, we'll, do you know what I mean? we'll just have the live section. We could do a segment called the live segment and I'll perch it up on a on a... And then, on a, a and then you throw box, on you, a bird and box. And then people on Instagram throw topics at us yeah. and we talk about them real quick. That's oh, good. That's, that's so great. Good. That's, that's great. cross promotion. You guys oh, that's just, cross promotion. That's good cross promotion. You guys just heard a fucking brainstorm. That's how it works here. We fucking, oh, we fucking get fucking ideas. That's how we, we get. We don't have whiteboards at Marty and Michael. We just fucking come up with shit out of the fly, can't We'll probably forget about it. Yeah, we should probably get a whiteboard. Yeah, I'm getting that. Um, anyway, so yeah, what's what's happened this week? Fucking, we've been busting our ass. We we got a brand deal with Neds that we're doing. Take it to the Neds level. You'll be able to see that soon too. Uh, but what else is going on in our lives, Mickey? Come on, we might on, be fill going down to Sydney. Yeah, soon. we're going down to Sydney. Film a uh, social media commercial for Menu Log and Maccas. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. Surely yeah. we're allowed to say yeah, that. Fuck it, we're fine. Yeah, so uh, that's happening. Um, uh, look, uh, what else? Uh, nearly finished the series, our first series. Uh, Bosley's back to normal. Bo- oh, that's right. Yeah, so let's touch on health quickly. Bosley's at like 90, 95% now, and he's fucking, he's improving. I have to shove like eight antibiotics down his throat every day, which he doesn't like, but he's on the improve. And um, yeah, my heart shit, it's still ongoing. I still have to see the cardiologist end of May, but I went and saw a chiropractor today. A fucking chiropractor just to see what it's all about i've always been curious and first of all it's it's very interesting it's it's probably you got to be open-minded to go there though it's it's all natural medicine and shit and they adjust your body and it um you know i got some natural medicines i'm curious to see if they work or not i'm fucking it, it made a lot of sense what you're saying oh and a lot of people are asking uh what uh, how's everything going with michael's reading level oh uh, what so. year year six or seven i found out today this is a new one I didn't know there were two thens. It was then and then. <laughs> I, I always thought T H A N was a myth. I, oh, I, yeah, thought, right then. I was doing T H E N for everything. Rather than. Rather than. What's the one everyone fucks up? The yours. Yours are easy for me. It's yeah, I figured thans. it out. The thens I never knew about. As soon as someone said it's you are and you know, yeah, then you, it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. But then, new thing I've learned. Well, this man. this fucking podcast, right? You see this fucking shit here in front of us? 
They are sponsoring this podcast, manscaped.com, all right? If you want to buy some grooming products, you can just have 20% off. Boom, there, that's yours. With our discount code, fully actual. You have that. Now, you put it in your pocket, you go to the website, you buy something like a shaver to shave your balls and groin region, right? Very good product. You use the discount code, 20% off, just like that. You're welcome. You're fucking welcome. And the other sponsor, of course, is the University of Marco, where we post our weekly vlogs about our entire lives. Everything goes up there. <laughs> Extended versions of all... <laughs> no! Oh! Michael's just demonstrated how you use it. He's shaved some pubes off and thrown them at Matt. You dodged well. Thank you. You should do that every week. There's pubes all over the cards now. That actually happened to Hugh Jackman once. He had a stalker in New York and she got a razor and shaved her pubes and threw it at him. Oh, It's sort of hot if a chick does it. No, I don't think so. Not really. Imagine if it was like a big handful. I'm imagining like Liz Hurley. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like really slimy and wet and... Yeah, that ruins, that ruins it. Okay, it just dark. Imagine. Oh, what's Matt got? What's Matt's Matt got, got a fart. Matt's got something going on. Matt's just ran Matt's out just of the house. it out of the room. Anyway, so you're sponsored by University of Michael. We've got over 100. Mm-hmm. Vi- just let me finish. Over 150 fucking videos on there that no one's ever seen before. Sign up. Links in the description. You can watch it for 21 days for free. And if you don't like it, you can leave. No, no charge. It's fine. You can just, you can just leave. If you want, okay? If you know, if it's not good enough for you. 150 videos is a lot. There's like, it's, I think How we worked what? out over 30 hours of shit on there. Bullshit. Yep. 100%. That's insane. It's too much. That's like, if you're hungover on a fucking weekend, that is a good day of hungover watching And then shit. you don't even, you can just unsubscribe them. You know yeah, what I mean? Don't do that. Yeah. Well, if you, if you like what you, you see, support stay on. us. If you want to help the yeah, podcast the, continue, us continue. That's our home base. The website funds nearly everything. That I you found see. out a hack with the Manscaped thing. Oh, here we go. Go slow. Okay. I've been shaving my balls. I've probably done it about twice now. I give it time, let it grow back. Yeah, I'm twice too. Now, I've worked out you can shave your balls and you can shave your face. Yeah. It does both. Yeah, it does everything. You can do your head, you can do your back, your back hair, your thick, dark back hair. (laughs) 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 I wish I could do that and break my jaw. (laughs) I wish an eye popped out. What is it when you get locked jaw? Is it stuck open? He's had that when he got King hit in the fucking skull. Couldn't eat for two months. All I could do is (laughs) Two months? Yeah, two months. I could open my mouth this far. To slide French fries in. That's what you do. I could only eat McDonald's chips (laughs) because my mouth would open up that much. (laughs) No, not anymore. Back when I was, yeah. But no, I got sick of chips. Can you tell me the story about that? What happened to you? We, I was at the Down Under bar, bar of all bars. (laughs) And you were being a cheeky little boy, weren't you? I'm pretty sure I had, oh, dude. Oh, it's so cringe to think about. <laughs> oh, my hairdresser who worked to, like, here's my house. The hairdresser I went to all high school was like two fucking shops down. And Michael really befriends his hairdressers and, and like flirts with them heaps and like touches <laughs> oh. them while like fucking his hair and shit. Get real sexually aggressive with them. I do not. Oh. Okay, now... <laughs> Anyway, fuck my mum goes there. Everything, we, or the family went to the hairdresser. It's the family hairdresser. And then I turned 18. I was out with you. Yeah, And I was man. out with Henry, another friend, and maybe another friend. And we were all on the dance floor. That's, I got my tooth punched through my lip yeah, that yeah. same night. I've had that. Oh, no. We both had that happen. Now, the hairdressers were there. And I went, I was probably 14 when I met them. They cut my hair till I was 18. So we got to know each other after four years. And they were like, oh my God, you're all grown up now. I didn't know if they were flirting. I didn't know what flirting was back they then. They would have been. The was they girls? They been. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. And then like I fucking started, we started having drinks together and I couldn't believe I was drinking with my hairdressers. It's just <laughs> like when you're 18, that's exciting. Yeah. Anyway, next minute I turn around, Henry's in a headlock or something, getting fucking punched hard. So I knew I just had to run at this guy and just start swinging to stop it. Next minute I wake up and the hairdresser is like, giving me a hand up Job. off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 
and my fucking jaw hurts like anything else ever could you talk I could talk at that point because I had adrenaline running. Yeah. And then when we got home, I realized I'd been knocked out and um, I couldn't eat for two months. And I never, ever went to the hairdressers again. <laughs> oh, that, that is not how I remember the story, my friend. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's an alternative version. My, Michael was on the dance floor. I can't remember. Your hairdressers were there. I don't know what they had to do with it. Maybe just at the end, but you had uh, some of these two dudes and you were in a in an argument i forget what about i can't remember what about. oh they didn't like the way me and henry were dancing yeah so um and and they were, one of them was getting really aggressive with you then i came uh, over and and like stood over him and then his mate from the side i always get fucking king hit from the <laughs> yeah, side you just get surprised here just comes and just fucking hits me so hard in the side of the head. My tooth goes through my lip, and then and then they start fighting with us. And then Henry ran over and saved our asses and just started beating the shit out of both of them. I think or no, or no. One of Henry them. was getting he was in trouble. That's when I saw him in the fight. He was in like a headlock, so I had to run over. I tried to hit his dude. Next minute, same thing that happened to you. His mate must have come, <laughs> took me in the side. And then I woke up to my hairdresser Fuck lifting me, me up. That was shit. We'd always get fucking something would go wrong or fucking noise out count to that. <laughs> anyway, that's fucking oh awkward with the hairdressers. <laughs> shit. What are their names? I don't remember, but oh. fuck one was really, really. You know? Yeah. My own oh yeah. Anyway. Anyway, um, Matt on this day. Yeah. Um, How'd you go? I did pretty. I did really well this week. I think. I believe. Um, I do notice. Uh, I can see here the heading for one uh, diary entry. So. Oh, dude! Did the iCloud slipping up your notes? I'm pretty sure he's. Doing, he must be doing this on purpose. I don't know why. Because they've been. Quite, what is your phone downloading? You did, you did want to be a writer. Mm. You said you want to do a fucking audio biography. How is my diary did, stuff downloading to, to that? I don't Matt wants to be a children's book writer. <laughs> so these diary entries might start making sense. He's, he's got his heart set on, you know, being a children's book author one day. Young kids or like teenagers? Why did you look there? I heard something. <laughs> okay. Michael's got another dead bird out the front of his yeah, house. Two dead birds at the front of my house. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a pool. It's like a little bird bath. <laughs> oh, dead birds. It's mag yeah, maggots, and there's maggots it's on it and the oh. maggots are drowning, but they're still on there. So it's cool. We'll leave it for a few months and then See we might that. be able to use that water for something. Yeah, we'll like grow something. It's sort of like a little laboratory. A little experiment. You know us always doing experiments. Greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> you know emissions. how we are. You know how we are, Matt. <laughs> He's typing. He's probably trying to delete his diary entry, but it's too late. On this day in 1985, Chuck Norris is a pedophile. Spread the word fast. <clears throat> no, is he really? Well, I don't know. It's just what it says here. Okay, so everyone, uh, I guess, uh, even if it's a rumor, just start it. Uh, Chuck Norris is definitely a pedophile. All right, spread the word. Tell people about this. Yeah. Hashtag Chuck Norris is probably a pedophile. I'm, is that I'm, bad for him? I don't know. <clears throat> on this day in 1989, Beyonce was seen herding cattle on a commercial beef farm. She would run at them with her arms outstretched, <laughs> stomping her feet, making a deep bellowing sound. She was one of the best herders in the country, and the bellowing sound actually strengthened her voice to a point where she could sing beautifully. Matt Brown to demonstrate the deep bellowing sound. <laughs> oh, fucking what? do I've got it. stage fright. He's got it in it. brackets here that you... Wanted to do a that. deep bellowing sound. Yeah, this is the sound that apparently that Beyonce would do to herd cattle, and she'd sort of stomp her feet. What was it? Oh, I can't do it. Can we do it later? Oh, oh fucking mate. mate. Well, Just... you're the one fucking writing these, Matt. So it's like, don't write it then if you can't fucking do it on the Ooh, spot. Make a sound. Ooh. Hey, stop it. Okay. Yeah. None so, any more of that. Mm. That wasn't a deep bellowing sound, Matt. But anyway. <clears throat> I'm nervous. On this day in 2006, diary entry number 527 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Her breathing was quite shallow. <laughs> I stood over her and watched her chest slowly rising and falling. Sweat ran down my forehead and into my eyes. It's... 
<laughs> it stung terribly, but I did not dare take my eyes off of her, not even to blink. Oh. I quietly stepped back into my closet and slid my hand down my pants. My brown was pulsing with anticipation. <laughs> my eyes widened further as I began milking myself. It wasn't... <laughs> It wasn't long before my thick legs started convulsing and my testicles tightened as my mat juice oozed out of my flesh stick. Shame flooded my now trembling body and I snapped out of my fantasy. I gave one last smile to my sleeping mother and headed back to my own bedroom. <laughs> That is, oh. that is not. He milks himself. That is not. <laughs> my brown, my brown. That Why is, would you read that out? <laughs> that is not. <laughs> very good. Very very good. Okay, last one. On this day in 2005, Oprah Winfrey was photographed by paparazzi while she was out on a picnic. She was seen consuming blocks of butter whole. She, she would remove the wrapping from a block and tilt her head back. She would then lower the block of butter into her mouth and then she would swallow it whole, very similar to how a snake would eat. So yeah, I thought that was pretty crazy. Like, what the fuck? Who does that? Ha ha. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. I can see it. Is butter good or bad for you? Too much butter is definitely bad. You can have yeah, a little. But I heard bit. it's got good fats, doesn't it? Yeah, you got to get the right ones. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like organic. Margarine. <laughs> definitely not margarine, mate. <laughs> no, they no. used to say that that was the supplement for being healthy butter. Yeah, I know. It's fucking terrible. And that's terrible. all been it's just, bullshit it's all, lies. It's all vegetable oil. It's it fucking brings the cholesterol down. Remember the fucking, down. fucking fucked the, cunt. The nutrition pyramid? Yeah, that's changed over Food pyramid. Fucking lying Fuckwits. They didn't know, man. They, they knew. They need scientists like us to fucking get there and do the job properly. <sighs> okay, he got me. Um, all right, what else we got coming out of this podcast? We got some fucking PO unboxing shit. We got the fucking German segment. We got a fucking prank call. We got some fucking crimes. crimes. And we got questions. And oh, yeah, questions. And going on questions. Now. Questions. Questions. Um, any paranormal UFO stuff We've coming? Got, um, uh, f -f -f <laughs> Ja Jackson and Lockie were recently with um, Racker and uh, they went to this fucking um, base near Racker's place. What, an Air yeah, Force base? Uh, yeah, near some, Adelaide, like an a, hour out of Adelaide. And like, man, they sent us some like some some little clips that they were filming. Some fucking crazy shit. Like they had the radio on and all of a sudden the radio would distort and these real crazy sounds. I should play it. Oh, maybe yeah. they want to post it though. Yeah, leave it up to them, but we should yeah, check that we, out. Yeah, keep an eye out because I think they're making a video out of it. Oh, maybe the audio is okay. they got fucking okay. chased. Did Lockie yeah, yeah, they got that? chased. They got like chased. Lockie got up to like 150 k's now to lose these guys. What guys? These guys just started chasing The fucking men in black, mate. Don't you know about that? That's hectic. Fucking oath, brother. So we're going to, after our series, we're going to go there for our alien doco. And try and have sex. Um... Is this the, the sort of thing that people are going for at the moment, like paranormal UFO stuff? Because I think even Butterfield. Yeah, I was going to say, I watched it. Yeah, it's Isaac very Butterfield. good. I love watching that. His ghost and alien shit. It's fucking very good hot. Shit. Very, very hot. Mm. He actually found aliens, like the yeah, UFOs. Yeah, they got evidence of them. I also saw another doco with um, that Australia has one of the most paranormal like places in the world down in Sydney. Because we're so fucking open, cunt. And there's no fucking cities, most of it, cunt. So I you can fucking see the cunts. I can't two, remember two, where two, it is, two. but it's like, I think it's in the harbour. Please comment know if anyone knows mm. this but um i think there's like a really uh, haunted place in sydney jerusalem jerusalem's in israel yeah. but comment uh comment if there's any really famously haunted or areas with heaps of alien uh, activity guys because we want to go visit them and we d don't break the fuck we <laughs> we do have Whoops. i came we came up with this vlog idea today for the website by the way not for social we're gonna do hide and seek in an abandoned haunted, haunted house. Ah, something. And the loser has to stay there on their own for the night. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do that. Then you, don't lose. You better not lose then, my little don't baby boy. Don't touch me. You better not lose the battle. Bottle. All right. Bring on the questions, my brown. Brown. Diary entries are getting out of control. You're a fool. Um, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
appreciate everyone yeah, putting in the questions. questions. I am catching up with all of them. They're getting stacking up. So fuck yes, guys. Keep it's it good. coming. Every comment supports us and helps us. So like the video and then comment. If you can't think of anything to comment, just comment, comment. Because then YouTube thinks, oh, these guys must like it. They're engaging. They like it. Shows it to more people. And then we get more viewers. Okay? So love it. Keep it coming, guys. Are you ready? Blah. Um, first question is from Shane Wilson. Um, if you two were wrestlers, as in WWE wrestlers, what would your entrance music be and what would your finishing move be? Mine would be a uh, wrecking ball from Miley Cyrus and my finishing move would be a um, javelin to the chest. <laughs> Mine would be... It would just be that snake music that they play to get the cobras <laughs> cooked coil out of their basket <laughs> and your final strike could be like your teeth <laughs> your teeth fucking biting the cunts right and then that you lose the fight but they get sick and die <laughs> three months later cunt haha <laughs> bacterial infection cunt <laughs> um oh yeah okay that <sighs> fucking hell um, I was going to say like, maybe like the Wiggles wake up Jeff and then I just throw the color purple at them at the end. Some paint or something maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That could work as well. <laughs> I think maybe stick with the Cobra thing though. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it. Oh. All right. Next question. Um, next question is from Stoner Life. What is your favorite type of weed strain to smoke? I'm getting into the uh, the hybrids at the moment, the sativa and um, indica mixes a little bit. So it's like, yeah, it, it just levels you out a little bit and the THC level not too high. I like them a little bit now. Michael? Is there weed in there? Thank you. I don't know why that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you got rock high now. <laughs> My tongue starts extending <laughs> that high. <laughs> I, wish they, I wish it came out like slapped your eyes. <laughs> yeah, like a lizard cleans its eyeballs. <laughs> um, I like the ones like they're like twenty percent THC. So it's not so intense. So I find I can do activities on it. Yeah, but I go through phases. Sometimes yeah. I just like to have the indicas and just fucking chill on the couch at the end of the night. I, yeah, I much prefer sativa. Next question is from Tala Ahmad Ahmed. Um, if you guys had the option to have an extra body part, what would it be? I'd have another dick, a backup dick. You can't really go wrong. Or maybe another arm, actually, because then you can carry all of the groceries. You don't have to go back to the car. <laughs> Imagine if you had a dick... Um, no, a dumb. Here's your front dick, and then you have a dick on your back, at the top of your bum. You could be in between two girls, and each thrust back and forth, and you could have sex twice. Yeah, but you you can't see what's going on behind you, so you like you're missing out, can't? Girls yeah. can't when they're getting doggied. So you, it's just evening the balance of shit up. I feel like then you'd, you'd yeah it's nah. sounds like a lot of work yeah well no because you thrust back anyway so why not just have some, another another girl there with you so your second dick ring ring worm mm. uh, maybe a, I like a, it. a second neck as well to extend the head yeah so this neck length again on top of that and then you're you know 10 centimeters taller imagine having an elbow on your forehead <laughs> And you could elbow people with your Bang. forehead. I'd have another heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me of the Tin Man from, <laughs> from the a, Wizard of Oz. Maybe like a healthy heart or something. Next <laughs> question is from <laughs> Next question from Jesse Jones. Um, Michael, how much did it how much did it hurt getting absolutely smashed in the back of the head by a tennis ball? <laughs> and Marty, how how much fun was it hitting it? <laughs> I'll tell you, the tennis ball to the head is like one tenth of having a fucking hockey ball hit at your leg <laughs> yeah tennis balls it is it can be incredibly painful where it hits you but it's okay because you know you can't die from a tennis ball you know you can't get knocked out it's just fucking it's horrific pain for a short period and then you're okay and you have a little bruise there so it, it is as much fun as it looks hitting balls as hard as i can into his corpse <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Next question is from uh, Dababi Secret Account. Um, what age do you think you will survive to? Oh man, I hope like seventy would be fucking great, yeah. dude. I f- I'm just I'm just gonna oh. say like I'd be I'd be really happy with like eighty five. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyone like that's would. that's the goal. The goal is eighty five. Okay, but seventy ain't bad. Oh yeah, I'll fucking take seventy. Honest. If someone says, "Look, we're gonna fucking guarantee you, you can just sort of risk it, but you got to really step up your game with health, and you'll get to eighty five. Or, look, do what you want. We guarantee you seventy. I'll take seventy. Right yeah, down. of course. Yeah, if you could do whatever you wanted, fucking oath. If you, someone said you can do do live however you want and live to seventy, yeah. I'd be doing that. Next question is from, uh, I think, Diogo Moran, Miranda. Um, what would you say your limits are in terms of pranks to each other? Is there anything you can't well, do to each other? there was a limit, but that got broken. Hair cutting? Yes. As, yeah. long, as, long, as, as long as it doesn't like, f- like permanently disfigure the other. Like permanently yeah, disfigure. Yeah, like you can, you can disfigure the body. Just not the face. Yeah, but like, I mean, permanently disfigure. Like if you, if you burnt my body and gave me third degree burns, that's, that's crossing the line. Because <laughs> I'm permanently disfigured. If the burn... <laughs> <laughs> he crossed the line! <laughs> you got smiling. He crossed the line! You got smiling. Oh, oh it was so good because the timing of you saying it and uh, the thing and the action was, and the doing yeah, it so it turns out there are no boundaries we ain't got no lines we're fucking doing a uh, a charity giveaway for um bloody um turning point right and we're giving away five thousand dollars worth of entertainment system as a ps5 there's a fucking huge fuck off tv and a soundbar so if you want to enter you just got to buy a five dollar raffle ticket right the link's in our bio link's in our bio on instagram and we, there's a post on our facebook feed as well um and it's just a five dollar raffle proceeds go to uh, charity <laughs> and we'll probably be doing a lot more of these but the reason that reminded me of that is when we post to facebook there are so many like so many fuckwits yeah dude there's it's a sick disgusting world man it's so much like hate on a fucking charity giveaway oh it's not really a giveaway is it because we have to pay for raffle tickets you have to do something Every giveaway that is done on social media, whether it be tag friends, share a post to your story or whatever, you're always giving something in exchange for for being entered into the, the giveaway. So yeah, it's not focused on the wording and focused on the end goal, which is to make some money for fucking charity. Yeah, amen. And also people who complained about the... There was one dude who complained about the TV. He said, dude, I bought that TV... And I hate it. <laughs> yeah. like, fuck, who cares? It's a it fucking like, what, huge it's, brand new TV. Yeah, it's massive. It's the, f- like with the PS5 and the soundbar, it's valued at what? Over 5K? Well, five grand roughly. I think just under $5,000. And that's the other thing. Everyone's like, oh, five grand. It's, it's fucking... There's some guys like, I hope I win so that I can expose you guys and, and sell all this shit. We, the PS5s are so hard to get. We had to pay like double what, what they're actually worth. And the fucking TV's like two grand alone or something. Anyway, fucking, there you go. We hate that shit. <laughs> Next question. And I is, hate cleaning. <laughs> fucking cleaning. <laughs> you don't clean. I you know, that's because I hate it. Yeah. And cooking can get fucked as well. Yeah, I'm with you on that God. one. God. And rocks. Yeah, What's wrong with rocks? Kick your foot on them. Dude, James would be so upset if he heard you say rocks. The little ones. Okay. Which brings us to our next segment. The Po Box Sun. Where we open shit. Are we shit- doing it early? Okay. I want it. Yep. Yeah, it's usually later in the podcast. Well, I, want it early. I want to see what's in this shit. But let's do it. Where you guys send us shit and we open it live on the podcast. There's the podcast address, right? the P.O. box address right there if you want to send shit. We'll open anything. We'll fucking give you some promo. We just like fucking opening shit, man. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, all right. I'm, I'm scared. Op- just open opened it. a package, right? Uh, it doesn't say who from. Alphabet City Hats. I'm going to, excuse me, I'm just going to remove these hats. Put this one on. Yeah, thank you to whoever sent that in. It's lovely. Always thinking about our skin skin cancers. Oh, look, we've got fucking stickers. All right, well, fuck yeah, man. Put them on. 
Who is it? Snoop Dogg and some what? Is this from this little package? Alphabet City. Alphabet yeah, City. I don't know how to open it. It's too hard. Matt, do you want to open this? It's from um, uh, Malaysia, right? I think. Oh, County MA Jinzen Industrial Park. All righty. Uh, we have a letter here. Sender, Daisy the Moo Cow. Thanks for the laughs. laughs. Thanks for the fun times. Moo. All right. Let's have a look what we got here, eh? <laughs> it's a Pokemon card, Matt. Hmm? Is that a good one? Yeah, it's a Charizard. No, Someone sent us a Charizard. It looks like a Charizard, isn't it? No, it's, it's a, a Moo Moo Malt. So it's oh. some cow thing. Oh, sorry. I saw the bit on the back. We have... Someone has sent us a Moo Moo Malt Pokemon card. Matt, can you Google how much this is worth? Um, I could try. I might take me some time. I'll come back to you. Okay, so uh, as long as this Pokemon is in your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. So it's a healing, it's a healing Pokemon. As the cow is, I'd fuck that thing to pieces, but it's very nice. Thank you. Cute, cute little picture. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the first Pokemon yeah. card I've ever owned since I was a little boy. Very good. We'll put that one in the safety deposit bank. Someone has sent us a human tongue. No, it's not a real tongue. Dude, it feels exactly like a human tongue. It's it made in China, human man. human tongue. It's probably cause... got fucking coronavirus all over it. Oh, I googled where it was from. Yeah, it's a fake tongue. It's That's a... still cool. Thank you. All right, well, um, shall we put that down on the, on the play? Oh, sorry about me. We could do something with that in public. Anyway... Thank you guys for sending that shit in. We got some more PO Box and we're saving it for next week. And we got some more shit coming. So fuck, keep sending this shit, guys. It's fucking lovely, man. This, this segment is out of control. Yeah, we've whoop, got a whoop, few packages. Whoop. <laughs> Do that with me, man. Come on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let's lift the roof, brother. <laughs> this hat is really... Uh... Yeah, not wearing it right. It looks cool, though. It is time for fucking let's read some fucking crimes that our followers have sent in let's read some crimes you guys are all fucking criminals let's read out some of these horrific crimes you guys have done and still walking the streets like everything's normal all right we got crimes we got paranormal stories all in one bundle of fuck all right get ready michael is going to attempt to read I'm 16 and I've been getting into some shit. Me and my mate wanted to fuck around some night so we decided to go urching. Where you go around to cars, try open and steal their belongings. We went urching for a couple of hours and stole about $5. The next day, cops suddenly show up at mine and my mate's houses. They told us to hand ourselves in so the next day we get really fucking high and handed ourselves in. This happened about a week ago. So thanks for the great content, getting me through grounding. Well, first of all, very good, Michael. Oh, smooth. Yeah, you've improved. You've been practicing well, vowels. There was no thens in that. Yeah. Oh, and you well done. The way you said that. There's no thens in that. I'm really? questioning that word urching. I'm pretty sure that means something sexual. Uh, Dude, that's kind of. We wouldn't up. ever try and yeah. Oh, fuck. Like that's strange to just try and steal. Man, they got five dollars. It works. Yeah, I'd, well, we did, I did that when I was in primary school, trying to open up, just open up cars. I've said are, this are before. You, are you serious? Yeah. Matt Brown. I used to go to the same car on this one street when we'd sneak out egging. I've said this before. And I'd shit in my hand and <laughs> put it underneath the same car's <laughs> door handles. Oh my God. So like probably fucking five times in like three years, this one car got targeted <laughs> with shit under the handles. <laughs> That is fucked, man. That would be such a shit way to start your day. You're fucking all, all sprightly heading to work. Got to open your car door and then there's fucking shit all over your fingers. Human shit. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely wouldn't have thought that that was human shit. They probably would have thought it was just some foreign dog shit or something. And they would suspect someone that they don't like. And then that would make them resent that person more because they can't prove it. And then that could lead them to murder. Yeah, fuck. I caused the murder. Potentially. What was their address? Six. Number six. Hmm. That's the name. Fake ID. Wanted to go into a club, but they saw that it was fake. So the police came and gave me a warning. 
Sorry for my bad English. That happened to Michael. I once. had that happen when I was. He tries to use an, an ID of a friend of ours that looked nothing like him. The bouncer saw her and was like, "I'm gonna have you fucking, I'm gonna have you fined now, cunt." Yeah. And the cops came and he had to pay like a five hundred dollar fine or something. Five hundred dollars back in the when day. you were like seventeen is so. Fu- Did like, your parents find out? No, nah, I had to. I used my Woolworths money. Yeah. <laughs> That was very funny. Very, fun. very funny, that was. That was like my underage drinking fine. My parents didn't know. Ooh, bad boy. Yeah, I, yeah, I got I got done for... A couple I of got times. fines for drinking in the street. Yeah, and um, two, underage and... And the they street. got sent to my house, and I remember I was so fucking on it. Yeah, me too. So whenever the mail came, you'd be like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, it was terrible. That was a really oh, stressful that's period. that's stressful. Oh, man, damn, baby. I was nearly crying. Were you a bad boy brown... Yeah, a little bit, but um. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so push the house, push the roof. Oh, what? What? Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking kill. Okay. Took a piss on the hotel lounge carpet. No regrets. <laughs> Marty, <laughs> I, we both have taken some pisses in some different spots. Oh, it used to be real bad. Like I don't <laughs> condone this. This is disgusting behavior. But it's yeah, pretty back cool. uh, even back. It, it started at schoolies <laughs> with me and Henry. Oh, we just it was like a cream carpet, and we didn't go to the toilet. We just pissed <laughs> wherever we were. Whenever we went traveling, every time we went into our new hotel or hostel or fucking room. Marty would go straight to the corner mm. of the room and start pissing everywhere. Well, you got a marky territory or something like that, <laughs> man. I stayed in a room, in a hostel room with him in um, Early Beach and we walked in there and I said, I'm going to the toilet. I went to the toilet. I came back out and he was pissing on the carpet. <laughs> and like, like there's like a square carpet that just the bed just covered over it and he was like pissing right on the corner of it. <laughs> it <was> quite <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> it's oh, fun. Man. Yeah, so I respect to that dude pissing on the carpet. Yeah, I yeah. guess. Okay. Invaded an abandoned military hospital. See, this is what I want. I want to do that too. Where? God. That's all he said. And he had sex in a cinema. Where's the weirdest place you effed? Lifeguard Tower, Gold Coast. Mum was in primary school in like year two. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle had you by the throat. Parent teacher interviews. <laughs> A church car park? A church car park. What'd you say, Kalepoku? Lifeguard Tower. Oh, you're so you're so Baywatch. <laughs> All right, next one. The worst crime that I've ever committed. When I was a teenager, my best friend's grandmother was dating a guy. Bullshit. We, f- we found out that he had over 30 grand in a shoebox in his back shed. Oh, no. So we figured we'd steal it. Oh. In the middle of the night, me, my best friend and another friend all parked the car about a mile away and walked to the shed, cut the padlock off and the door and made our way into the shed. We searched for about 30 minutes when my best friend found the box. We peeked in and saw the cash, made our way back to the car and drove to my house where we counted the money. It was only three and a half thousand dollars and a few pieces of jewelry. So we split it in three ways and never told anyone. Oh my God. So is that so if they're stolen from a family member? No, it's just the fucking dude that the grandmother was fucking. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's oh, okay. If it could imagine Klaus. Nick Klaus fucked my grandmother. You'd steal from that cunt. Next one. one. Stole a car, then realized it belonged to police officers, so then set fire to hide any DNA. If that's true, that's like, there's, there's some fucking crazy shit going on. People have done some crazy shit and don't get caught for it. I'm starting to think maybe people just more often than not don't get caught for shit. Dude. Let's go fucking do something It's tonight. just probation anyway, three months. We remember, worked that out two weeks in ago. in fucking high school, you just, get, you just go meet up with mates and just do illegal shit. Yeah, it was like the mm. fun thing. We should do that soon, man. The amount of like Let's um, get back into it. You know when people are like they used to like be building buildings, like like buildings. units and high rises and stuff, and you'd sneak in there with your mates and you'd spend like hours climbing up these towers. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I've seen that shit on YouTube. That's so crazy. Not like, that high, hanging off like cranes and yeah, shit. Yeah, not that high, but like you know, we went to building sites and you find heaps of shit. Man. That's dangerous, man. Sorry. 
got done trafficking drugs in Woodford Jail here on the coast. What, like trying to bring drugs into the jail? Yeah, well, apparently. Is someone who's got caught finally. Yeah. Is, is Woodford Jail a maximum security prison? I'm pretty sure. Uh, it would no, be. No, no, It'd be no. I heard Julian was saying that people try and smuggle them in with drones at the moment. Yeah, it's with COVID because they can't visit. Man, oh. like, it's like, how do they get the drugs in? You'd think you'd get searched everywhere. I had a friend go to jail a few years back and he said there's, he felt there was more drugs in the prison system than there was on the street. That was That's crazy. Like, there there must, must be some about fucking, it. yeah, just like, be okay with it. you know, you just sort of pay the guard off a bit or suck his dick and then you're allowed to have a bit of heroin come in. And I've heard stories about the, the farm jails, ones without any fences. Like there's some real interesting like stuff going on there. <laughs> Maybe we should go, let's do like a jail doc. Go no, to the fuck jails. That. It's not a good idea. Go to the jails and you'd be wearing like a really tight little mini skirt. See if you can get fucked in jail. Real. See, no, see how much you can like really work the boys up. Yeah. And you do like in high heels with lipstick on and yeah. We could do that at an actual <laughs> jail with a fence. I'd do that. If they remember you and you, they got out. <laughs> they come here and fuck you, senseless yeah, okay. cunt. Maybe we won't. <laughs> 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 dig all the way up here. Unus. All right, last one. When I was 18 and needed money in New Zealand, a friend offered me a job to go steal some weed plants from public reserve. We headed out at night with balaclavas and knives and a duffel bag. We crawled through gorse bushes. Gorse. Gorse, it says. Might be a typo. uh, And found nine fully grown plants. What the fuck is that doing on a public reserve? Yeah, and how did they know how This is how it happens, man. We cut them down and bagged them. As we were crawling back through the bushes, we noticed some people coming out the back of the house and facing toward us. They couldn't see us because it was dark and we were in the bushes, but we could see them in their mongrel mob patched vests. Oh. Oh. So they're bikies. Turns out it wasn't a reserve. It was mongrel mob property that we robbed. We got the fuck out of there and harvested the plants. I started selling weed and ended up selling half of it back to the mongrel mob. Don't give my name to anyone. <gasps> oh, that sounds legit. That's fucking terrifying. Oh, man. You'd think you'd be just fucking... You'd, you'd fucking leave the plants there, but they, they took them. Yeah, well, they've already fucking cut the plants. Yeah, that's scary, man. That's fucking crazy, man. Ooh, the mongrel is fucking crazy. Shit, baby. They kill people, baby. Oh, this one's fucked up. If this is real. Girlfriend's neighbor's dog barked every night for three years. One day I was over there, got two smashed. So I got the chihuahua and oh. snapped its neck. Oh my no more God. barking. Anonymous, please. Oh my oh God. Oh my God. That is if fucking that is true. Fuck. I could not kill a dog. You, Hercules... <laughs> I nah. could maybe I could, kill that. I could definitely I'd kick hit it. a dog. I'd kick it away and just no, be like, but, shut up. But teach it, not don't just end its life. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I could I look Hercules in the eyes and I'd just And then put your love. thumbs in them. <laughs> no, I, yeah, okay, I can't kick Hercules. I'd I'd think about kicking him. Yeah. Well we haven't lived there for a while. The rage has simmered. <laughs> he was a very frustrating dog. But more frustrating was his Fucking owner. Yeah, the thing. It's like, go get your thing. She'd wait for us to say something and then she'd fucking get up. Hercules! Oh, her voice. Hercules! That Nothing. The dog wouldn't listen to her at all. She had to come and physically waddle out and pick it up and take it inside. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's done. Bad! Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. This is a segment where I read out really normal uh, German sayings as if I'm in a casual conversation with a fellow German. And that apparently is entertaining. Disgusting. To you racist dogs. <laughs> hey, I'm not the only one that thinks it. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. Oh. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. Mein Schwein. Watch my mouth. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. You spat on me from there. You got it on my upper thigh. Feels like, oh. <laughs> mein Sweat. Schwein pfeift. My Schwein pfeift. Watch my lips and tongue specifically. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. 
Dude, that is <laughs> there is some fucked shit going on at the end. That is spellbound witchcraft. You are an occultist. My spell oh, which means fight. I think my pig is whistling, which means um blow me down. What? I don't know if it means that, but there you go. That's what it means literally. I think my pig is whistling. Don't you dare. I want to make the German funny. By the way, guys, we're launching our uh, weed website soon. And we'll be selling these packs. They're the best fucking oh my packs God. you can you get. I can take it anywhere and get high. So follow our Instagram account, Marty and Michael underscore MM, right? It's a new little account, right? You fucking just wait. It's going to get fucked crazy. Next one. <clears throat> Das ist erste Sahne. Das ist erste Sahne. Das ist erste Sahne. Oh, fuck off, man. Das ist erste Sahne. Das ist erste Sahne. Oh, it sounds like lasagna. Erste Sahne. Sahne. <laughs> Which means... That is first cream. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh. Which is what you say when you're trying to say, wow, that's great. That's first cream? Das ist erste Sahne. <laughs> you would say. That's fucked up. I enjoyed it. And that is how Germans communicate to each other. All Isn't right. Isn't there three? Did we do or two? All right. There's a short but sweet one. I didn't even know this first word. All right. Schwamm drüber. Schwamm drüber! Schwamm drüber! Fucking ropes drüber. covering half your eyes. Is it, is it really different? Like half pirate? Which means sponge over it. Which means, let's forget about it. So if you're like, oh, don't what are you trying to say? Oh, man, yeah, you can fucking push that woman into a rose bush. Schwamm drüber! Forget about it. How do you do that? And that is the end of the fucking German segment, which brings us to our next segment. We've got to fucking hurry on. How long have we been going for, Matt? We're just over now. Quick update. So Shane Warne hasn't um, read our DMs yet. <clears throat> uh, I've, I saw some people commenting on his latest post. Thank you. But now we now need Now our attention guns. has switched to his son. <laughs> I know you're hurting. Feels like you're learning. <clears throat> Um, his son. What's his fucking son called again? Cunt. Shane. Jackson. Jackson. Shane Webkey. <laughs> Jackson. So, okay, we are now targeting his son. He has much smaller following. He's younger. He's more active on social media. Wait, his name is. To, sorry to cut you off, but do you want to use his son to get to Shane? <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry. We use the son. So to get right, to right, right, right. Jackson Warn eighteen. All right, that's his Instagram handle. I need you guys to go and let him know what's going on, all right? All right, we need to, again, just comment on his latest post. Check Marty and Michael DMs, and then hopefully he'll read it, and then I'll explain to him what we want, and then he can tell his father. But I doubt he's going to go for it. This one might take a while. His okay? papa. Yeah, sometimes, it's not going to happen overnight. Even season. if it takes it's the, not the whole season. It's not going to happen overnight, no? But we want to know if Shane Warne can still spin. Because we're just checking. We're just checking if he can, all right? The king. Of spin. Checking. All right. That brings us to our final segment. A very, very powerful segment. Uh, I'll be Arnold Fine. Hey, I'm uh, your miss speaker with uh, Greg Fairclaw. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Am I speaker with uh, Greg Fairclaw? <laughs> no. Who was I speak with, huh? You're not talking to Greg Fairclough. Why are you mocking me? Hmm? <laughs> what do you want, Papa Giuseppe? You, uh, your dog, uh, you, your dog, a shit on my lawn. Huh? I see. Are you gonna uh, make me some pizza or something? You, I see Papa. you shit, your dog shit on my lawn every hey, day. Papa. And uh, you, uh, you uh, keep a walking and uh, don't even uh, clean it up. I've pig out, <laughs> I've fresh pig out the back, and they come for walks and stand all through your dog shit, huh? Yeah, see if it's ready, Bentley. Uh, I do not know a Bentley. Uh, you do stop your dog from cheating on my lawn, huh? Otherwise, I uh, uh, come f come to your house and 
Uh, chop up your lawn, huh? Yeah, Papa, you there? Yeah, I, I, you finish now or you speak to me? <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Uh, your dog, uh, I have seen your dog. You have a dog, yes? <laughs> what? Dog? You have a dog. A dog? A dog, a barking dog. A <laughs> dog? Yes, you have a dog. I see, uh, I see on my uh, house uh, camera, your dog, he uh, do poo on my lawn. Uh, keep going, mate. I'm going to come and do a shit on your lawn. No, you that day. I do shit on your lawn. I shit on your wife. We well, you get everyone to come fucking do a shit on no, your lawn. I shit on your wife. <laughs> on her breast. Uh, Baba, you send me a little bitch? Mm, I find where you live, Greg, and I shit on your wife. Do you have the keys to the car? Oh, I've got them. It's all good. What, what's the point in this call? Are you going to talk properly or just be a fuck with? You, you break my spirit, huh? Your dog. <laughs> I gotta go. What do you want? I just uh, want to say, uh, please pick up your dog shit from my lawn, huh? Oh, well, I'm going. Okay, Greg. See you, Papa. See you later, okay. <laughs> I love the wife bit. I shit on your wife. I don't know if that's good enough. Oh, dude, there's hit and misses. It's so fucking. It shows how real this is. All right, guys, just so you know, we haven't put it, put this in, but yeah, we we called like ten different people, none of them answered. Um, so it sort of fucked us up a bit. Um, and then that's the. It's so late now. We got to fucking it's get hit going. Hit and miss, guys. That shows how real this is. Fuck. I feel. I feel shit. I feel shit whenever the prank call fucking Marty, fucks up. I had a good time. As long as Arnold Fine is next to me. I'm happy. A guy just wasn't piss offable. Yeah, I know. He, he was. He fucking thought you were such a joke. I don't find he's a fucking joke. He has no respect. <laughs> yeah, just no Mally. respect. For he was paying out how you said dog. <laughs> how do you say it when you're dog? Dog. <laughs> dog. Maybe we should keep ringing him <laughs> until he gets angry. Just with different fucking characters. Anyway, fuck, shit prank call, but there you go. These things happen. Um, we're going to try and plan ahead a little bit. So just in case no one's answering their fucking phones, because we have to call off a private number. So no one, like one in 10 people answer. So we're going to try and have to think of some shit where, where we call businesses and they definitely will have to answer. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, we fucking stay with it, stay strong, be real, get down, bring it up, swirl it around, put it in the bin. And we are the best, 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 We're the best. We're the best. Do you understand? We are seriously... Like that, that is high, high quality. We are up here. No one. Everyone else the is best. like under the table, bigger than all the planets put together. Do you, do you understand that, Matt? You, our you're, toe is bigger than you. You're part of this, right? You get that, right? You are, you're like a section in the best. We are like the best and you, you're, you're hooked on the side there, on our little rocket ship. You're like in the liver. Up to superstardom. <laughs> do you understand? We're fueled by people. And the more people we get, the faster our rocket ship explodes through the stratosphere, heading straight for the sun. We're so red hot. <laughs> we're the best, I guess. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah. I'm going to try and eat this tongue. <laughs> tongue bum. Anyway. Yeah, you get it. We're the best. 